Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time, we made it to the High Antia Tomb here, and we pretty much just explored it a little bit after Ryan fucked us over and made us fall down the hole, go boom, and we've kind of been switching back between, back and forth between Melia and the main crew. You quickly notice I switched my party to have Shulk in it again. Uh, I figured until I fight some Entia, I figured I'll use him. If I start fighting Entia, I'll switch him back out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and continue on through this place. It's probably going to be a cutscene right here or something because I stopped right in front of the flag last time. Yeah, here we go. Kicking off with a cutscene as usual. That is a big ball of something. He'd look fun and sparkle. <laughs> It's not attacking us, at least. Yet. Oh. What's happening? Hey, look at that! Oh. Spoke too soon, Shulk. Another defense mechanism. At a guess, we're looking at the tomb's guard. We're not getting past without a fight. Everyone, Melia needs us. We can't let this thing stop us. No problem. Time to break my record. Break his record? What? Of the biggest thing he ever defeated? It's pretty much just an Orlugo that has armor, right? Yep. Orlugo Rufus. His name is Rufus. I love it. I love that his name is Rufus. That is cool. Man, let's get behind him. Get behind him so we can do backslash. Oh, I love it. That man's awesome. He takes all the aggro for me. Hell yeah, we're working this one bitch. Dude, this seems already half dead. This boss ain't shit. This is the most useless boss ever. I'm gonna use this so I can get the aggro off me. You shadow eyes so I can get the aggro off me. Yeah. Oh, this thing is gonna be so dead. I'm not even gonna get my chain attack meter up before it's dead. Rufus, you have disappointed me. You have put up no fight. I'm sorry, Rufus. I'm sorry I had to do this to you. But I owned your ass. Man, he didn't even last like a minute. The cutscene was longer than him. Anyone would think we're not wanted. Are we ever gonna find her? I think you'll find we had to take the long way because somebody pushed a certain button. Hmm, somebody mean Ryan. Shut it, hairball. It was just a button. Relax. She will be fine. This route will lead us to the ritual altar. But time is of the essence. We've got to hurry. There's no time to lose. It's just a button. Well, guess what? A button is what sets off the nuclear... Nuclear fucking missiles, too. All it takes is a button. Yeah, Ryan. You ever think about it that way? No, because you're a dumbass meathead. That's why. Alright, so we gotta... I just want to get these blue things. Oh god, is this worth it? One blue thing? Wait a second. Oh, look at the map real quick. How many different ways can I go from here? Huh. Whatever, I want it. And I'm not gonna let something like time stop me. Oh, yeah, we bitch. All right, now that I've explored that colossal waste of time, where else can I go? See that way? I believe that's the way we came in. And so that door's probably the one I want to go to to get the fuck out of here. This, uh, what's over here? Is this where the heart to heart is? Because there's a heart to heart in this room. Looks like that was correct. Whose heart to heart is it? Damn it, we can't even look at it yet. I was hoping it was one I could maybe do right now. That wouldn't have been cool. Alright, let's get this shit over with and get the hell out of this area. This area has bothered me enough. These damn walls. 
got one more wall we gotta traverse. Let's just get across this bitch as quickly as we can. Into the door we go. Let's see where this goes. Nobody knows. Oh god. More enemies. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna fight any more enemies unless they make me. I've decided that I've fought enough. I fought plenty of them last episode. I really did. Tower of Trials Bridge. Hmm. Can I drop down from here? Definitely not. Ah, it's a dead end. Death. Death awaits you. Huh. But it looks like over there there's ledges I can land on. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. But who cares about that when we're inside of a place we can climb? Oh god, more climbing. How much climbing is this? This better not be as long as the climbs I've been doing. Okay, good. It seems like a lot shorter. <sighs> it's like, don't make me fast forward, you bitch. Don't make me. Okay. Whoa, another orc. God damn it, another Rufus. Fucking Rufus. Rufus ain't shit. Nice job. Took Rufus out like like nada. Like nada. Oh god. Well it's a good thing I killed him, because apparently he drops an item I need for a quest. Rufus control units. <laughs> Rufus control units. I love it. I love it. I like that it's called Rufus Control Unit. That is hilarious. That is fucking hilarious. Wait, where does this take me? Huh. Takes me to a door. Where does that one take me then? That one takes me up. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing I need to go up, but I want to know where this door goes. God damn it! You can't you can't have two ways to climb and not expect me to want to know where they both go. Not that they expect you to not want to know, but I really want to know. Especially since this seems to lead to a door that you can only get to from climbing. You can't actually get to it any other way. What lies beyond the door? I want to know, please let it be worth it, it's probably not worth it, but I still want to know. Okay, what do we have in here? Dead end. Damn it. it looks like we're going to need Melia. Mental note, come back to this spot with Melia at some point. Okay. <laughs> I was worried that this place was going to be like a one-off, where you could only come here this one time and never come back, but it seems like that's not true since there seems to be areas I can't go to yet unless I have Melia in the party, like dead-end bridges that only activate when you have the Entia Air or whatever, the Antigua Air or whatever you want to call her, which is fine, that's fine, I don't mind coming back here. God, another Rufus, well, because he drops items I need, let's get him. Damn, Rufus is like just becoming easier and easier every time I kill him. And he didn't even want to drop an or a Rufus control device. The damn you, Rufus. The damn you. And look, at, there's another wall I can climb. That one leads to some items, though. Um, you know what? Let's grab those items. F it. Alright, we're good. Let's head back up here now. Where are we gonna stop? Nobody knows. Oh god. We gotta push another button. Good thing Ryan's nowhere to be found. If Ryan had to press it, who knows what the fuck would have happened. Even though this one was pretty straightforward, all it did was open up a hole for me to climb through. Hmm, have I been here before? Ah, I believe I've been here with Melia. Yep, because the bridge is activated. Ooh, are we about to meet up with Melia? Are we ready for this? I hope we don't have to fight any Entia. The only reason I have him in is because I think we're about to fight a Telethia. Because in his vision, there was a Telethia that attacked Melia. Just please let it be a Telethia, not some Entia. And if it is Entia, let me hit them this time. There's the Telethia. Hit the 
Hmm. <laughs> Why should you care when you're about to meet your death? <laughs> So a Telethia and this this V bitch. I don't remember her name. Um, yeah, we're just stick to this party. Hell yeah, I don't need to use Melia in this battle, do I? I'm trying to think if I want to or not. Um, it's tempting. You know what? Nope, I'm leaving it. Never mind. I was I was think I was I was very tempted to maybe take Shulk out, but since we're fighting a Telethia, we might need to use Purge. Everybody attack this thing. The faster we can kill this thing, the better. I don't give a shit about that chick. That chick can that chick's I'm gonna I'm gonna save her being able to kill that chick. I'm trying to kill my try to kill my Melia. How dare you? I'ma kill this big bitch, and then I'ma handle the little bitch. I'ma kill her nice and slow, just like she deserves. Wait. Oh, okay. For a second I thought maybe he had his thing activated where I couldn't hit him. Kind of waiting for him to, for the Telethia to put up his little shield so I can't hurt him anymore. Just kind of waiting. I mean, he is a Telethia. He is going to do that, right? Use a chain attack and finish this. Do it. Did the music just change all of a sudden? I feel like the music just changed. Damn it, I wasn't back attacking. Charlotte, just do what you got to do. I like how the Telethia has uh, an ability that lets him have his defense up and defense down. It's funny. Charla? I need Charla to like deactivate all his buffs or something. Whatever. This battle is already over with as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, you see the battle music keeps changing up. It's kind of weird. Oh, wow. Okay. That I didn't expect. I'm, for a second, I thought this was called the Sodium. The Sodium Telethia, but it's Solidium. Or so Solidum. Solidum? I don't, know. I don't know how you pronounce that. It doesn't matter. He's over half dead already. Tis nothing. I almost feel like I should have used Melia just for the sake of having this be, you know, giving her her due, her due, uh, what she is due, which is some payback on these bitches. No matter, she'll, I'll, she'll get plenty of use in the party soon. When I can choose my own party, like next quest best I do, I'm probably going to be using Melia a lot. So, if she just wants some play in my party. That'll be when and if. Wait, is he... Am I missing now? I think I am. Okay, he has his shield up now, doesn't he? Hold on, let's, let's do purge on him. Just to be sure. Because I don't want him to be like me wasting time trying to hit him and I can't even hit him. He's almost dead, though. He's so close. Got him. Now we can focus on Telethia, bitch. Or Entia, bitch. See, I told you... Okay, so Shulk really can't hurt Entia. That's it wasn't something I just thought, it's something that's actually true. Good to know. Flick break. Uh yeah, go ahead and inflict break. Yeah, broke that bitch. Now topple that bitch. I'm gonna topple her. Boom! Maybe I can hit her now that she's toppled. And I'll go ahead and use metal blast. So now that she's toppled, can I actually hit her with every with him? Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, I still can't hit her. That's bullshit. Well, that's just bootsy as hell, man. Why has Shulk got to be so useless against Entia? But you have to use him against the Selethia, otherwise you can't use her. What an ass backwards way to do this. Maybe I... I don't know. I'm trying to think of ways that... Why I can't hurt this bitch. Or ways that it might let me hurt her. It's just annoying. Luckily I have Dunban. He's the one going to do all my damage dealing for me. That's the one positive note. What else can we do with the Minato? Um, let's see if Purge does anything. 
No, Purge didn't do shit. It's just annoying that I can't hit her with everybody. Meaning, everybody meaning I can't hit her with Shulk. Shulk's a useless bitch ass. I've never felt like Shulk has ever been useless, but this is the point where you're just like, why can't he hit bird people? Are bird people his people and he just doesn't want to hurt them, or what? Or is it just because the Monado is like a bird people weapon that has been handed down for generations? I don't know. Speculate all I want. It just sucks right now because she'll can't hurt Entia. I'm sure we'll find a way for Shulk to hurt Entia eventually. Or maybe after this part of the game we'll never have to kill another Entia. Hopefully. Anyway, we own that bitch. Now what happens? Do we get to celebrate? With ice cream and sprinkles? Ooh, bitch got slapped. It's not over! Celestia! Kill as many of them as you can! Keep clear! The Telethia is destroying itself! What? <sighs> Almost bought it! Alvis, thank you. My pleasure, Shulk. Why did you come? The Monado gave me a warning that you were in danger. I'm just glad we made it. Hey, Shulk, whoever that was is gone. So, they escaped. Shulk, everyone. I thank you. You saved me. Ricky, smiley, smiley! Millie, all safe! All thanks to Hero Born! Oh, oh. That's not how I remember it, Cheese Born. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> didn't do shit. <laughs> Silly Ricky Martin. Pretends like he did something. All he did was watch from the sidelines. One of these days, I'll use Ricky in some important battle for fun, but for now, you can sit on the bench and watch. And that concludes my report on events in the tomb. Hmm. So, there are forces working in the shadows. However, this is purely circumstantial. Nothing can be proven. Hmm. Inquisitors of the Bionite Order, dedicated and devoted to the Bionis. The order was dissolved under the rule of the Emperor Lumion, 47th successor to the throne, due to its extreme practices. Like puppet masters pulling the strings from the shadows. I believe their bloodline was lost to the ages. Her Highness the First Consort is currently residing in the Tower of Investigation. The Ministry of Investigation's judgment should be imminent. Well, oh, that may not be enough. I myself must shine a light on the truth. Agreed. Mother. Melia. Your Majesty. You have returned unharmed from the tomb. The forefathers have spoken. But if it hadn't been for Shulk... Callion has informed me of what happened. There is no reason to doubt your legitimacy to the throne. Believe in yourself, Crown Princess. Brother. Tomorrow will be the investiture ceremony. At the appointed time, you will become my successor. Be proud. I... I will. Melia, my child. I am overjoyed at how far you have come. You are truly worthy of the throne. Continue the legacy of your High Entia and Harm's bloodline. You are the hope of Bionis. I'm still curious as to why they want to combine the races so much like obviously there's people who are resisting that's why there's a conspiracy going on but what's the whole thing where they want to combine combine the oh, genes Ricky I don't get and it. friends help save Melly Ricky very happy we're all relieved but something's still bothering me what is it why was Melia chosen as the crown princess shouldn't Callion have been the one to ascend 
and her foe in the tomb clearly opposed that decision. You have a point. Kalyan is more than a worthy candidate. What reason could they have for choosing Melia? And why would Kalyan go along with this? It's a mystery. Definitely one I want to know the answer to. Our apologies. His Majesty the Emperor summons you. Finally! He's gonna let us into Prison Island. Yeah. His Majesty awaits you in the audience chamber. He asks that you join him shortly. Are we finally gonna get to free roam around in the castle? Because we haven't really got a chance to free roam the castle yet. Every time we're in here, we always gotta do what they want us to do. We can't just walk around as we please. Let's see what happens. Like, where does this teleporter go specifically? I don't even think I ever found, found that out, did I? Okay, so it comes out right here, which is where? Oh! 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 Ah, see, I'm a dumbass. Remember when I said that it looked like I was going to be able to go in there? into one of those hallways because it looks like it was open on the map well duh that was it I'm retarded dude dude seriously dude dude you're retarded how did you forget that it's like that was hell long ago you're a dummy you stupid dummy anyways once we get Melia back in the party I'll I'll go back to exploring yeah see we've been here with Melia before but it's time to go into the throne room. Yes. Imperial Guard, lead the way. Lead the way. Figure I'll get these cutscenes out of the way and maybe next time we'll get to do some free roamage. Shulk, forgive us for detaining you earlier. You and I are not of the same people. But this I must say. Thank you for helping Melia Antiqua, my daughter. It was no small feat. Not at all. I too must apologize for meddling in your customs. We should not have interfered. She is a lucky girl to have met such unselfish people. In the times to come, a ruler will need support from individuals like you. I hear you seek the Mekon. Yes. The Mekon devastated our homes. And we lost many loved ones. Revenge is your goal? It is. You are honest. I do not want to hide our true intentions. Our very existence is at stake. Unwavering, too. Shulk, you are the master of the Monado. But there is something that must be said. What is it? Long before our forefathers built this empire, two titans, the Bionis and the Maconis, fought a vicious battle. Is this known among Harms? Yes. It is told to us as children. The two fought and died, killing many creatures in the process. Their remains became our worlds, bringing forth new life on Bionis. That's how we were made. The Bionis shall awaken once again. Alvis told me the same thing. This is not just the vision of a seer. All of Magna knows. The Telethia are as old as the Bionis itself, and now they disturb the ether. That disturbance can only lead to one thing. Uh, but why is this happening now? This is an inscription left by our forefathers. It is written, Descendants of Antiqua, when the ether cries, the Bionis awakes. Mistake not the signs. And heed the sword's return, trap its power, and assure eternal prosperity. Uh. All life born on Bionis affects the ether. The Mekon's assault is just the beginning. And these events were set in motion when you used the sword against them. We used it because we... Because you needed to. Without it, you could not survive. I cannot dispute this fact. I believe the inscription speaks of these very events with the Mekon. But if their assault continues, if more lives are lost, soon the Bionis will awake. And not only the High Entia, but all life will perish. Do you see, Shulk? You're talking about total extinction. 
Correct. Which is why the Mekon's invasion must be stopped. Then you'll help us. Your Majesty, we need Imperial sanction to enter Prison Island. Will you permit us entry? What will you do there? I saw it in a vision. We will fight a faced Mekon. They must pay for what they did. Then you will have seen him too. <sighs> On Prison Island, our forefathers sealed something away, just as they did to the Monado. All records have been lost, and there is now no way to know what it was. Is it connected to the awakening of the Bionis? I do not know, but our forefathers must have had good reason. We must trust their decision. <sighs> Shulk, allow me some time to deliberate. Above all else, I will consider the safety of Bionis. You are our Bionis brethren. We will not ignore your plight. I... understand. This is not our homeland. If you decide not to let us go, I will accept your decision. I am sorry. It's... okay. One more thing. Yes? I ask this not as Emperor Saurian Antiqua, but as a father. I do not demand that you act as Melia's protector, but I would be honored if you would be her friend. This is my humble request. It would be my honor. Huh. And while this is all like a lovey-dovey, predictable type of conversation, wait, the hold on. The are on the move. Yes. That fleshy fool will go for the Monado. What of the faces? Repairs to metal are complete. And Nemesis? Nemesis is... The Homs with the Monado. He has reached Erith Sea? Yes. And there is only one place for them to go. Yet he will not dare unleash such power. <laughs> no matter. Bugs must still be exterminated. It is time to test our new toy. Commence the assault on Bionis. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, my lord. I don't even remember what I was saying now. Holy shit. Um, wow. This is, uh... This is a lot of stuff, guys. I, oh man, do I want to? Do I dare end the episode now? You know what? I should. That way, next time we can just kick off with whatever happens next. I don't know how much more I can take for today. Seriously, though. Well then, wow, I have a lot of stuff to ponder on I'm about the story, then, don't I? I guess so. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I hate to stop now because it's getting so good, but. I'm going to run up the time if I don't. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Xenobred Chronicles, and we'll see what's going down. Maybe I'll speculate on this, the story more some, too. Anyways, until I see you guys then, peace.